After studying this module, we shall be able to learn about the concept of green marketing, learn about the significance of green marketing, learn about various issues in green marketing, understand sustainable marketing, and know the holistic meta-marketing concept. There are many recent developments in marketing, such as online marketing, direct marketing, meta-marketing, ecological and green marketing. These are terms which are coined, keeping in mind the strategies used by modern firms in the face of cutthroat competition in the marketplace. In the present module, we shall understand few such concepts. The concept green marketing was first introduced in the late 1970s when the American Marketing Association organized the first ever workshop on ecological marketing in 1975, leading to publication of the first book on the subject titled Ecological Marketing by Heenian and Kinnear in 1976. The first definition of green marketing is as follows. The implementation of marketing programs directed at the environmentally conscious market segment. According to American Marketing Association, green marketing is the marketing of products that are presumed to be environmentally safe. Thus, green marketing incorporates a broad, a broad range of activities including product modification, changes to the production process, packages, changes as well as modifying advertising. Yet, defining green marketing is not a simple task where several meanings intersect and contradict each other. An example of this will be the existence of varying social, environmental and retail definitions attached to this term. Other similar terms used are environmental marketing and ecological marketing. Thus, green marketing refers to the holistic marketing concept wherein the production, marketing, consumption and disposal of products and services happen in a manner that is less detrimental to the environment with growing awareness about the implications of global warming, non-biodegradable solid waste, harmful impact of pollutants, etc. Both marketers and consumers are becoming increasingly sensitive to the need for switching in to green products and services. While the shift to green may appear to be expensive in the short run, it will definitely prove to be indispensable and advantageous cost-wise too in the long run. In the words of Pride and Ferrell, 1993, green marketing is also known as environmental marketing and sustainable marketing and refers to an organization's efforts at designing, promoting, pricing and distributing products that will not harm the environment. Polonsky defines green marketing as all activities designed to generate and facilitate any exchanges intended to satisfy human needs or wants such that the satisfaction of these needs and wants occurs with minimal detrimental impact on the natural environment. In the words of Elkington, a green consumer is one who avoids products that are likely to endanger the health of the consumer or others, cause significant damage to the environment during the manufacture, use and disposal, consume a disproportionate amount of energy, cause unnecessary waste, use materials derived from threatened species or environments, and involve the unnecessary use of or cruelty to animals, and finally, adversely affect other countries. The term green marketing is often used loosely and in the wrong context. Green marketing is the marketing of products which are considered not to be harmful for the environment. Fuller, 1999, defined green marketing as follows. The process of planning, implementing and controlling 
the development, pricing, promotion, and distribution of products in a manner that satisfies the following three criteria. One, consumer needs are met. Two, organizational goods are attained. And three, the process is compatible with the ecosystem. The act of misleading consumers regarding the environmental practices of a company of the environmental benefits of a product or service is known as greenwashing. Poorly conceived approaches to marketing are another reason why terms like green, sustainable and environmentally friendly are misused, leading to greenwashing and confused, skeptical consumers. There are four critical issues that have delayed the development of green marketing, such as First, green marketing firms have frequently only used the environment as an additional promotional dimension without any attempt to analyze or modify the product or its ingredients or its impact on the environment. Secondly, most of the firms have focused on consumer needs and the focus on environment has been restricted to marketing and promotional activities only. This has not led to the development of a holistic approach to the same. Moreover, the firms are cost conscious, so only interested in low cost savings, but lukewarm when it involves huge investments for developing sustainable products and processes. Lastly, firms are spending on window dressing or marginal improvements to existing processes to create an illusion in the minds of consumers. We shall now focus on importance of green marketing. As our planet offers resources that are limited and human wants and needs are unlimited, we have been exploiting the natural physical environment in all possible ways. The resources need to be utilized economically and in an environment friendly way. In this connection, the green marketing concept has a significant role to play in sustainable development of this planet so that the resources are available to our future generations to come. This increasing awareness is a boon to the marketers because it has enhanced strategic options to sales promotion. As the consumers are becoming more aware about environmental issues, green and ecological marketing strategies are becoming more prevalent in the market issues. There are many reasons for the increasing significance of green marketing and the next segment discusses the same. One of the major reasons is cost effectiveness. As green marketing involves the recycling of materials which then become cheaper to use it is a cost-effective method. It leads to less utilization and the reuse of natural resources. This protects our environment from overexposure and exploitation. Strategic importance. As more and more economies are opening up for international trade, there are increasing pressures on the environment and its constituents. And as a result, many governments are imposing restrictions on goods and packaging material to be environment friendly. For improving exports and the balance of payments, it has become an important strategic choice of many firms in order to compete in the international market. Government regulations. An increasing number of governments have set up rules and legislations for ecological balance and the protection of natural environment. These rules aim at safeguarding us from hazardous industrial waste and air, water and noise pollution. The compliance of these standards and policies are an important cause of enhancing the importance of the concept. Corporate social responsibility. The social awareness about our environment has made it an important element of CSR. Every company wants to project an image of a conscious firm which uses environmental friendly processes and tools 
to produce eco-friendly products in the marketplace. Every CSR report includes the efforts made by the firm regarding the use of energy, modern techniques of energy, water replenishment efforts like rainwater harvesting, waste management, and recycling plants, etc. We shall now discuss the concept by looking at some of the examples. The customers always prefer environmental household products which must benefit them such as safe to use around children, no toxic ingredients, no chemical residues and no strong fume commodities. At present, most of the daily newspapers are available online and seminars, conferences and publications teach us on how to become a green company or community. School children have environmental related projects at schools or eco-friendly programs that they are implementing at home or in their communities. We shall now look at a few examples. Coca-Cola Company of the USA pumped syrup directly from the tank instead of using plastic, which saved 68 million pounds a year. McDonald's replaced its clamshell packaging with waxed paper because of increased consumer concerns relating to polystyrene production and ozone depletion. Xerox introduced a high-quality recycled photocopier paper in an attempt to satisfy the demands of firms for less environmentally harmful products. In 1994, Philips launched the Earth Light, a super energy efficient compact fluorescent light or CFL bulb designed to be an environmentally preferable substitute for the traditional energy intensive incandescent bulb. In India, Badarpur Thermal Power Station of NTPC in Delhi is devising ways to utilize coal ash that has been a major source of air and water pollution. In India, the Barauni refinery of the IOC is taking steps for restricting air and water pollutants. The next topic of discussion is the four R's of green marketing. They are reduce, recycle, reuse and rebuy. We shall now study each of these in detail. The first is reduce. It targets at reducing the requirement of packaging and other material made from man-made or natural fiber for resale or consumption. The next R is recycle. It insists on relying on recycled materials and supplies or packaging materials. It may mean using materials made from already discarded products so that the environment can be protected from the huge burden of garbage disposal. Reuse. Some firms try to use discarded bottles, containers and cans for packaging their products. This amounts to the reuse of existing products for reselling. Shipping cartons, for instance, can be made up of recycled paper boards. Rebuy. Besides recycling, some firms request and propagate their customers to reuse and refill packs to avoid discarding products altogether. This helps in the protection of ecological balance of our planet by reducing overall consumption. These are the four golden thumb rules of green marketing leading to a promise of a safe environment. Let us now consider the challenges of green marketing. It is a new concept although the Indian consumers are becoming more aware about the whole concept. But there are still many misconceptions about the idea. They need to be educated about the holistic green concept and not be misled by false, tall claims by firms using green marketing only as a marketing gimmick. Firms actually have to use more environment-friendly processes and ingredients for the sustainable development of the economy and the protection of the environment. There is a great need for standardization. There is a greater need for some yardsticks or standards 
against which green practices need to be measured so that frauds can be identified and marketers and producers will invest in technology improvement practices for sustainable development. The ecological marketing is the need of the hour and challenges like the degradation of our water, air and forest resources are issues of immediate concern. Global warming, non-biodegradable and industrial waste are major issues in environment protection and preservation. Carbon emissions beyond the permissible range by firms of developed countries is the most ignored aspect that needs immediate attention. Patience and perseverance. Investors and firms need to perceive environment as a long-term investment opportunity as this is a slow reward option. It is a new concept and investors would require more patience for the benefits to accrue as they will not be instant. The long-term planning of resource deployment is needed for sustainable growth and development. But this is the need of the hour to protect our environment from further degradation so that the future generations can be thankful and not regretful of our efforts. After analyzing the challenges of green marketing, we shall now study about sustainable marketing. Sustainable marketing calls for meeting the current needs of customers and business and also preserving the ability of future generations to meet their needs. This is another term for green marketing. Sustainability is a major concern for marketers in the 21st century since marketing strategies and activities are inextricably linked to the future of natural physical environment, ensuring sustainable supply chain management, reducing climate change, understanding customer needs about sustainability, and managing business processes to protect the natural environment. Consumers are aware of and worried about these issues. Besides environmental impact, consumers also express their concerns about the social impacts of products they purchase and more than ever demand green products. At the same time, only a small number of these people are willing to pay extra for these green products. Nevertheless, consumers expect companies to be socially responsible and operate in an environmentally friendly manner and do more than just comply with re legal regulations. Companies linked to unethical business practices or business operations which damage the environment are readily boycotted by consumers. This has led to an expansion of consumer wants and needs with which such companies and marketers have to deal. Sustainable marketing calls for socially and eco-friendly actions that meet future needs of society and future generations to come. McDonald's is a perfect example. Most people do not associate them with green initiatives as their business is based around hamburgers, fries and soft drinks. But over the last decade, the fast food chain has made substantial eco-friendly strides. The restaurant giant now puts its used cooking oil into biodiesel vehicles, uses non-hydrogenated cooking oils and purchases sustainably grown coffee and organic milk. So what has McDonald's done to highlight its intentions? While the iconic M arc remains gold in the US, in many European countries, the arc has been changed to green. Let us now consider a few case studies. We will commence with McDonald's. Most people do not associate this firm with green initiatives as their business is based around hamburgers, fries and soft drinks. But over the last decade, the fast food chain has made substantial eco-friendly strides. The restaurant giant now puts its used cooking oil into biodiesel vehicles, uses non-hydrogenated cooking oils and purchases 
sustainably grown coffee and organic milk. So what has McDonald's done to highlight its intentions? While the iconic M arch remains gold in the US, in many European countries, this arch has been changed to green. The firm has even developed an environmental scorecard that rates its vendors' performance in areas such as water use, energy use, and social waste management. Next, we shall consider the case of LG Electronics India Private Limited. The home appliances and consumer electronics major is a subsidiary of LG Electronics. The company uses eco-friendly processes to produce products like vacuum cleaners, washing machines, air conditioners, microwaves, and refrigerators, etc. LG has been a trendsetter in promoting its products through the platform of health as an issue. The color television segment has highlighted the golden eye technology that reduces the strain on the eye. The air conditioning campaign highlights plasma healthy air system that gives pure clean airflow, keeping pollution to a minimum level. LG's advertising strategy has been insisting on celebrity endorsements, advanced features, and eco-friendly processes and products. Meta or holistic marketing implies that marketing is a total integrated process rather than a fragmented approach. All the elements of marketing need to be integrated and coordinated scientifically in order to get the best results. Thus, a scientific and systematic analysis and determining a balanced combination of all the four P's that is product, place, price and promotion is required in meta marketing. All the elements have to be considered together and not in isolation. Creating value to the customer is the core idea behind the concept and it starts with a proper design of product which meets or exceeds customer expectations followed by pricing of the product keeping into account the cost, competitive pricing, buying capacity of target buyers after segmentation of the market. Product differentiation or any other pricing strategy may be used for promotion of the product depending upon demographic factors of the potential market. This is also termed as integrated marketing as it emphasizes upon integration of all the elements and marketing communication to be timed along with the production, research, sales promotion and distribution. In the end, logistics have to be planned and implemented in a way that right quality of goods are delivered at right prices, at right place and time to the target customers. The objective of all marketing activities is to satisfy customers and leading to better bottom line results as a consequence. The aim is not profit maximization, but only profits through customer satisfaction. The holistic marketing also aims to enhance customer satisfaction so that brand loyalty can be created in the minds of consumers. Our next area of discussion is benefits of holistic marketing. The business firms using the meta holistic marketing can achieve the following benefits. The concept has philosophical and strategic implications. It helps the business firm to direct its activities towards the long-term objectives of stability and growth. The approach helps to focus on consumer needs and by following a coordinated approach, the firm can evaluate the contributions of various components in the accomplishment of organizational objectives. It can also help in identifying shortcomings in the process of delivering value to the customers. With a greater awareness about the market, competition can be faced in a better fashion. 
the counter strategies for facing competitors will then lead to innovation and research in the field. More quality consciousness will be created to improve processes for cost reduction. The holistic approach also reduces the chances of product failure as it involves detailed planning and research before the launch of a new strategy or product. The market segmentation, targeting and product positioning helps in understanding customer needs in a balanced way. If a firm is using this technique, it can predetermine market opportunities and threats and prepare better to face future uncertainties. It can take the advantage of being an early bird as well if proper planning and estimation is done. Let us now recapitulate what we have studied so far. Marketing is a philosophy par excellence and requires continuous evaluation in terms of results and it needs research at a persistent level. With the business environment, which is highly volatile, threats can emerge overnight. Competitor may come up with better products at lower prices or may capture a larger market share. The government policies may change, foreign exchange rate fluctuations may affect import, export of components or maybe customers' preferences change. These opportunities and threats need to be perceived well in advance and counter strategies have to be implemented at short notice. Such challenges have resulted in innovation in marketing strategies as well, such as green marketing is one such approach recently observed in the market. Green marketing is an approach which aims to create an image in the minds of consumers that the firm is an eco-friendly concern focusing on preservation of environment and it offers such products which are environmentally safe. The production process, packing material along with the product features are all environment friendly. Sustainable marketing is also a concept which highlights the sustainability of production processes in the long run and not only in promotional activities. Holistic marketing is an overall plan of action undertaken for product design, pricing, placement, sales promotion and distribution logistics keeping in mind customer needs. It aims at systematic and scientific implementation of all the elements of marketing mix in a coordinated manner. The outcome is synchronized product placement in the market reducing chances of failure and enhanced market share. The holistic marketing requires a scientific study of all the activities, their interdependence and implementation sequence in order to face challenges and threats posed by the marketing environment. It depends on a number of factors like nature of product, its features, price, durability, elasticity of demand, availability of alternate goods and buyer readiness for the same. Thus, in this module, we have learned about recent developments in marketing which require deeper understanding of the quality of processes involved in manufacturing and ultimate objective is to create competitive advantage in the market.